Hey everybody, uh, so my name is Miles. I am with the Exotic Carsmith Automotive Maintenance and Custom Fabrication School. And welcome to our first YouTube video. Um, we are going to be doing just a quick little video on the importance of um, tires on your car. Now I know everybody's gonna say tires. My favorite subject always cost me a bundle of money well I mean think about it your tires are actually kind of a pretty important part of your car they're your car's shoes that's pretty much how your car gets around and how it does what it needs to do how it takes care of acceleration braking steering so it's really you know quite an important piece of equipment for your car and think about it, I mean, if you had a pair of ratty old shoes with worn out soles and a bunch of holes in them, you'd replace them, you'd buy a new pair of shoes. If for no other reason than just so you don't look like you can't afford a new pair of shoes. So, yeah, like I said, um, your tires are really quite important. So let's just kind of go over um, a little bit of the information that's provided on your tires and um, a little bit about tire wear patterns and um, when is a good time to replace your tires so let's just go into it real quick all right so here we have your typical touring car tire and this is what's called the tire sidewall and there is a whole bunch of information that the manufacturer puts in here for you. So let's just take a look at some of the information that's available to you on the sidewall. First of all, um, as a consumer, the tire size is pretty much important to you so that you know what kind of tire to buy um, next time you're shopping for tires. So here, right here, is the size of this tire. Now you're going to say, well, what the hell do all those numbers mean? Okay, so let's just really quickly take a look at it. Um, it says 215 slash 70 R15 98T. So 215, that is the width of your tread in millimeters. What we're talking about is the tread of the actual tire right here. That's 215 millimeters. Next number is 70. 70 is the width of the sidewall itself in millimeters. So again, if you look at the sidewall right here, this would be roughly 70 millimeters. R stands for radial, and all of your street tires, modern street tires, will be radial tires. It's required by um, DOT regulations. And 15 is the size of the rim. So what that means is that the actual tire rim is 15 inches in diameter. Next, 98, that's the low rating, and T is the speed rating. Those numbers are not really that all that important to you. It's just the actual size tire, size of the tire that you're going to be paying most attention to. Next, uh, most people are always wondering, of course, you know, what pressure should my tire be inflated to? That information is also in the sidewall of your tire. If you look at right here, it says max load 700, uh, 750 kilograms. And max pressure 51 PSI, which means 51 pounds per square inch. That is the maximum pressure that you should be inflating this tire to. The last piece of information that is inform important to you as a consumer is the date of the tire manufacturing. Now this was actually a subject of a pretty big lawsuit about 15-20 years ago. So what happens is when the tire is manufactured, the rubber compound within the tire pretty much starts to degrade almost immediately. And these tires usually end up sitting around in warehouses for a number of years before they are actually sold. And once the tire age, 
reaches probably about six, seven years old, the rubber compound has degraded to the point where the tire can have a catastrophic failure pretty much at any point. And back then, the tire manufacturers and, t and tire retailers it would really just sell the tires, you know, as they got them, as they came to them without any regard for the manufacture date. So what would happen is you would be purchasing basically a brand new tire to you, but that tire, that tire could have been sitting around in a warehouse somewhere for the last six years. So it's actually, it was actually a six year old tire, which could have been prone to failure. So the way you tell um, when the tire was manufactured is this DOT label right here. And what you want to pay attention to is these last four numbers right here. This tire says 3120. What that means is that this tire was manufactured in, in the 31st week of the year 2020. So this tire, as of this date, is roughly three years old. So it is well within the age the limits of what would be considered safe for a tire. Okay, so that's pretty much most of the important information that you would need to extract from the sidewall of the tire. So let's just take a look at the tire tread itself and when is actually a good time to replace a tire. So if you look at the tire tread, um, a lot of times, you know, people, everybody knows that their tires wear out, but when is actually a good time to change your tires? So that's actually something that the manufacturers thought of themselves and they built these little, if you look deep inside the tread, there's these little ridges. These are called wear bars. Now, once, your tire has reached the maximum, I mean the minimum tread limit, it will be even with these wear bars. So once you start seeing those showing through the tread, it's time to replace your tires. Or conversely, if you want to be a little bit more technical, you can get yourself one of these. This is a tire tread depth gauge. And what this does is it basically tells you what your tire tread depth is in millimeters. So what you do is just place it up against the tire tread, the inside of the tire tread, and just push down. And it'll show you in green, your tires are safe to use. Once you start reaching the yellow level, yeah, you're starting to get pretty worn. It might be time to start thinking about replacing the tires. So as you can see that this tire is just barely starting to reach the yellow line. Once you reach red, it is definitely time to replace your tires. As far as wear tread patterns, tread, I mean tread wear patterns, sorry about that. Um, you want your tires to wear basically flat and even across the entire face of the tread. Sometimes you will get some strange wear patterns. If you start noticing your tires wearing too much on the inside or too much on the outside, that indicates that there is some issues within your suspension, maybe your steering, and your car definitely needs a tire alignment. Now, I'm sure anybody that owns a car, you've noticed that your front tires wear out a lot faster than your rear tires. That's because the front tires are responsible for much more of the driving action. Uh, they're responsible for acceleration in front wheel drive cars. They're responsible for your steering. They're responsible for your braking. So. The forces that are placed on the front tires are much greater than the rear tires. The rear tires are just kind of basically hanging out there along for the ride. 
That is why you need to rotate your tires. Rotating your tires, what that means is you move the front tires to the back and the back tires to the front. And this keeps the tires wearing at fairly the same rate so that when it's time to replace your tires, you replace all four, not just having to replace the two front ones. Um, most manufacturers recommend that you swap your tires, not just front to rear, but also corner to corner. What that does is it reverses the rotation on the tire and it, it, it it's almost like stretching a muscle. Um, that tire has been rotating in the same direction for so long, it needs that um, rotational rotation reversed so that the sidewall can kind of stretch itself back out into its correct shape. However, there is a little point to that. Um, if you have high performance tires, those are rotation specific. And what that means is that you will have an arrow in stamped into the sidewall of your tire that's indicating the proper direction of rotation for that tire. So for that reason, high performance tires, you cannot swap corner to corner because you will reverse the rotation of that tire. So those tires, you only swap from front to back on the same side of the car. That way, you know, you're keeping them rotating in the proper direction and you're also making sure that they're going to be wearing at the same pace, at the same rate. So that was our first video, our first ever video on the exciting subject of tires. I hope that um, you got some good information from that and I hope it raised your level of knowledge a little bit about the tires themselves and how important they are and some of the information that's contained in the tire itself that's there for you to take advantage of. And there will be many more, many more videos coming on various subjects, automotive subjects. So if you found this video interesting, informative, we would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe to this channel. And we hope to see you soon in our next video.